Yo, what's going on guys? Now, today's video actually going to be on the 7th anniversary surprise ticket and my recommendations for it. Now, I will be using the wiki because actually a couple units I do not have and I thought it'd be easier if I just used all the info on the wiki rather than on my actual account. Now, one thing I want to do as a disclaimer is if you're planning on surprise ticketing any summer unit, please wait until the last day as I don't know. Um, this year is a little bit different, but I do not know when they will bring back the summer units and when they're going to leave the banner. And if they're in the banner while their free rolls going on, it's very common that people tend to roll the unit that they ended up surprise ticketing. So keep that in mind. Um, I will break down this video into elements because there's so much content here by content. I mean, there's so much, options to pick and it's very important that you do try to min max this ticket as it's the most value you can get for 30 your 30 dollars or whatever currency you may use um this is like the most value you can get in grand blue per year hopefully you guys enjoy and be sure to like the video and stuff um with that let's get on the fire okay there was a couple of things i actually forgot to mention one being that I did mention summer units that you want to hold till the end of the banner, but honestly, if you're also getting grand weapons or anything, honestly, you should just hold to the end before you buy it. Uh, you can freely buy, I believe, holiday units, meaning any Christmas unit or any Halloween unit, and generally you should be fine, but KMR has been going crazy lately, so who knows, for all we know, this is like March 28th, bring back Halloween units. I don't know. Um, also, I will be going over the summons too. So um, most of them are pretty bad, but I'll still go over them. I'm pretty much gonna say either yes or no. If it's really good, then I'll go a little bit more in depth in it just to make the video not too long. And I think that covers about everything. Oh, one last thing. If you plan on buying a surprise ticket, please get something that's limited. I, I know there's a couple units in the game people may feel like super close to, but I would recommend that you use this ticket on something that's limited as it's the only it's the only time in the year we get this opportunity to take advantage of picking out a limited item of our choice. That's not like sparked. Anyways, let's get on the fire. Um, we're gonna be starting off with Shiva. Shiva's, I don't recommend him. His weapon's pretty mediocre. Honestly, it's not that bad on double Agni, but that's really, you don't run double Agni too often, so yeah. Um, his character is pretty outdated. He does have the um, the uh, permanent debuff, but there's many other characters you can use. So he, he really only used right now as a core unit for far high level solo, but you may be able to push it out without him, honestly, so. I don't really recommend him. Now we're on Sturm. I was on the wrong variant, apparently. Um, now, Sturm, to be honest, is not that breaking up, game breaking as a unit, but Exaba, the weapons he comes with, is a whole nother story. And this is actually something I do recommend if you're trying to finish your Agni build. Personally, I would wait until the end, um, just in case you may roll an extra copy. Um, if you're at like three Exabas, then it's probably more inclined to want to go for the fourth one because it does make a bigger difference because you get options to run the Magna Opus. Um, other than that, that's about it really. This is only for people who really want to farm gold bars, by the way. If you're looking like a casual player, don't waste your time doing this. Don't get a weapon. Focus more on your character variety. Um, that'll help you longer. Rackham is the next unit we're looking at. Um, another character I do not recommend. Uh, his weapon, Abinadia, is pretty bad. His character is actually pretty good, but he's just a standard grand unit. You may just end up rolling him throughout the year. He's rather old, so probably most people here already have him. So I don't really recommend using your anniversary ticket on him. He's still an okay unit though, right? He's, he's not a bad unit. It's just that I don't recommend it. Now we're on Tina Summer. Um, Tina Summer, her weapon Tropical Fairy did get a filament break and it's a very unique weapon. 
I wouldn't recommend using your anniversary ticket on her though. But if you're a big Tina fan, maybe like somebody coming from Raging Bahamut. I know it's an old game, but hey, maybe maybe you are that guy. Um, she's not an awful unit. Uh, she's pretty decent for full auto, but not something I would recommend. She does have gravity though, which is kind of useful, I guess. But not something on the higher echelon of the units you can surprise to get. Now we're onto another healer, Skatcha. Now, she has probably one of the best weapons here that's not a grand weapon. Um, it's probably the strongest garrison weapon for fire. However, there are other alternatives like Gangsta Knife. So while she's, her weapon is very, very good, her character is not so strong. It, it has a very unique mechanic where if you fall below 50%, she does a 25, my fault. If you fall below 25, it, she actually fully restores all fire allies at the end of the turn. Keep in mind, you need to live to the end of the turn. Um, this is very unique. Uh, I don't know if I'll recommend her. Personally, I don't have her actually. So, I mean, I don't need her, but uh, hey, if you like her, if you lolly bait, hey, go ahead. Um, She's cute, I won't deny, but she's not like core in any setup right now. She's just something you want, you would like to have at like, you know, I don't know, some rare situation maybe. But yeah, right now she, she doesn't have any value outside of her weapons, so I don't really recommend her. Okay, now I'm on A. Woo, this weapon, this character is good. <laughs> Yo, know, she's definitely one of the top picks for fire. Uh, this character is actually amazing. She does insane nuke damage. She has good buffs, uh, our normal modifier, I believe. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe? I'm pretty sure they're normal. Uh, should be, should be normal. Yeah, normal. Um, so it's really good for Mac, the players. Um, she's pretty good for full auto. Manual, um, she's used for five high level solo, but you can run other options like Anthuria. So you're not really using her for that, but what she really excels in is full auto. If you're a full auto gamer and you like main fire, this is kind of a must have unit, so yeah. Her weapon, Tropical Winter, is not that great if I remember correctly. Um, so you're not really doing it for the weapon, you're doing it more for the character. And she's definitely one of the top fire units for full auto. Meme Lemma, or was it Meme Lemma? Uh, Meme mem Lemma? What the fuck? I don't know how to pronounce this damn unit. Toot toot, whatever, man. Leave me alone. Um, so here we go. Broken, get her. If you don't got her, you get her. Just as simple as that. If you main fire, if you don't got her, get her. If you're Magna, you have Anella, get her. Um, if you Ogi, you get her. Pretty much you just get her, right? She's one of those units where like, if you don't got her, get her. That's all I can tell you. If you don't got her, get her. I'm just like, what else I'm gonna tell you? How, how uh, I can't suck her off that hard, right? EO sucks, don't want your time. Oh, so it's cute. Um, so you had the gimmick with Paralyzed. It's not game breaking. It's not something I recommend. Donna, it's pretty bad. Don't waste your time. Bea, here you go. Now this is another unit. Now she got a rebalance, right? Which makes her actually kind of like Predator for fire, which is pretty good. I, I don't have any time playing with her though. So I can't tell you if she's optimal. Uh, I've seen a little couple tests of against her and Matera, and I believe that if you're able to hit two buttons, she does out damage Matera, especially if you're running red here. But um, in terms of speed, I don't know which one is faster. Uh, definitely unit I will look out for. Um, she's a summer unit, so she's probably in a banner, one of them. And she's rather old, so I'm guessing a lot of players actually have her. She was core around 2017. That's when she came out, right? Yep, 2017. So, uh, just look around for her. Just keep her in your mind, you know? Oh, my fault. Azel. Um, so, he was the alternative to Matera when it came to, like, uh, fire comps with Luchador. He still offers that ability as an alternative and, and sometimes he does out damages her depending on the boss and the situation and what debuffs is on the boss, mainly petrified. So 
So, um, he's a good unit. I don't know if I recommend him over the other units like Nemone, Tutu, but he's definitely in the upper echelon of units, way better than majority of the units. He's like, he's near upper mid. Um, I don't know if he's near the top. It depends on how you play the game. If you use fire for everything, um, then he's a must get because you use fire for everything and you want to have a good variety of units just in case, you know, some type of unit can uh, fall or, you know, pass. And the ability to give keen is something that not many fire units have. If you if you look at keen buffs and you go to fire, fire is one of these smaller, um, there's keen. <coughs> Why I don't see Keen? Where do I see Keen? Where's Keen? Why? Keen, hello, hello. I type Keen, hello. The status fact, what? Why the status fact? Hello, where's Keen? Look, you guys are dead. All right. So normally you're able to see Keen. I don't know why it's not letting me see it. Let me... There we go. So if we look at Keen units and we go to fire, there's not many um, units in the, in the fire element that can give keen and it is supplemental damage keep in mind though if you're running like supplemental airings on your units keen doesn't do nearly as much but he is one of the only units in fire that has the ability to give party keen and that still gives him a lot of valuability so let's keep that in mind he's definitely in the, t in the upper echelon of units athena pretty bad it's a spell cancel but the whole meme what the spell cancel was based around Anella that has now changed thanks to her rebalance. Don't really matter much. It's very unfortunate that they end up using Summer Athena on a goddamn summon. Oh my god. And then we have Seder. Um, I used her. Don't recommend using her though. <laughs> so yeah, don't do what I did. Um, I only got her for my Fire Fox solo back with it much harder. Now, not nearly as hard, so not a huge um, deal to go after. And that pretty much covers fire. I'm sorry I did not pronounce Toot Toot name properly. Forgive me. Um, but with that, let's get on to water. Okay, we are now on the water, and we were looking at the first water unit being Europa. Now, Galilee's Insight did get a actual rebalance, and the weapon is hella good. And honestly, it's very good. So, Europa herself, it's not really used much. My most value out of her right now currently is I use her for Yubaha full auto solo. Other than that, I don't really use her for much. Um, so, her as a character, she's not that great, honestly, but her weapon rebalance is kind of big. And running multiple copies of her weapon in your water primal grid is very good. I don't recommend um, surprising her. But for like the two Varna Lords who are probably looking to get in their second copy of this weapon, it may be something on the table. It's not an awful idea if you wanted to do it. I don't recommend it though. Now, here's another rebalanced weapon, Taisai Spirit Bow. Now, Foley herself is kind of outdated. She was a really good staff unit in the Kaliostro, like Lily Folia team. Um, she kind of fell behind because he doesn't really offer much and her buff is kind of hard to manage um, especially now because of the fact that there's other buffs in the game that do a little bit more and doesn't take nearly as long to set up her buff is like eight turns cooldown I believe right yeah so um, her herself is she's she's still a decent unit but not something you use much anymore if you don't have better option like if you have better options then you run other stuff but if you don't you run her it's still pretty good now her weapon though did get a change it now has a double attack mod on it i think it has about 30 percent attack overall and crit rate it's a pretty good weapon now um i don't think you really want to surprise to get though uh you it's more of a one-off weapon there are some builds where you can run two of it i run two of it myself for bubs i don't really recommend it though i only ran two of that weapon like to give a little bit of context i only ran two of the weapon because i was running a class weapon in my grid which does lower my overall damage output so let's throw it out there 
I don't really recommend her, but I can understand if somebody does want to get her. She's kind of cute. Catalina, don't. She's a good character, her weapon trash, don't. Drank. Blue Spirit's a good weapon. Drank is not a good character. He's an okay character. Um, he does have some type of uh, viability thanks to his delay on Ogi. Um, if you have him in Bubble Bursting, I believe. I know it's Attack Spectre. Um, he, he has a little bit of viability there. Uh, he's not an awful unit by any means, but not something I recommend using your surprise to get on. Sandifon. Now, he's kind of been power crept out of water, unfortunately. He's still a good unit, and he does have Amplified for the party, and he does offer a small double or triple attack boost. Water attack up as well, which is not bad, but he has been kind of power crept out thanks to Zeta. So... I don't recommend getting him because you, if you had the optimal water team, which includes Zeta, then you don't really have space for this character anymore. So he, if you're, he's not really something you surprise to get for the weapon. He's more of a character, and because he's been power crept out, it's unfortunate. Still a good character though, if you don't have the other stuff, but not good enough to surprise to get. Rosetta. Now this unit is very controversial. Um, I think she's pretty okay. Uh, personally for full auto, but because of Vajra's 5 star, it killed the biggest value of this unit, which is the dispel on the, on like, Ogi. Well, not on Ogi, but on special attacks, he has the ability to dispel immediately, which was useful for the, um, what was it called again? Dread Barrage, when she came out. Now, I only use this unit for you Baja high level full auto. Wow, this is the only reason I use this unit. Therefore, I don't recommend her. She does have use if we do get harder content and may be useful for a Nightmare 150 for auto, but um, I don't know if that's good enough a reason for me to recommend this unit to be surprised to get when you can just run Quatre, Dog, and I doubt there's not much the boss is gonna do to you. But see, maybe something you wanna look out for just in case if you don't have any other better options to filament break. If you don't have other better options to surprise the gate. She's definitely on the higher end, but she has fault a little bit. Kind of like Azel, like where she's high, but not the tippy high. Now we have Narmea. Um, she did get a rebalance in 2020, which gave her the ability to like activate delay quite a bit. Um, they changed around her kit where she doesn't have a hard time using her Assassin anymore. It used to be break assassin now. It's any time and she does give herself a pretty big crit rate buff Right, which is like what, what, what I've got the numbers on it. It's pretty huge though like 100 100 But it's pretty massive at max, right? Um, honestly though, she's not good enough to be ran on water right now. There's not much value to her You can run her but she's not like So unique where you want to run her. She's just like an other option for people who don't have like the Uno and the other stuff. Now we have Summer, sorry, Christmas Mirren, and she's actually a pretty stellar unit. She has a very good kit in terms of like variety. She can be used for an Ogi unit. She could be used as a tank to like, for example, for Fa high level, she can actually grab the Paradise Loss effect thanks to her skill three. She does get all ally sub and dodge all. She can also be used as a healer too, where her skill two, cause it does heal all allies. And not only does it heal, it also gives charge bar, which kind of further pushes her Ogi ability. Not only that, she does debuff, which she does have a full kit. Um, she's a good alternative to people who want to do Ogi builds in current content, mainly bubs or fa high level. So if you're like an Ogi water player, she's a must get unit. If you're still rocking the three ball grid, you need to pick up this unit. That's for sure. So for my, my, my blue spear players, all running three of them, you got to pick up your unit, man. Lucio, if you have Zeta, you have Uno, you have crit, you pretty much got to pick up this unit. It is what it is. I got to do it. You got to do it. We all got to do it. Um, he's going to dominate GW. It's unfortunate. It is what it is. Accept your fate. It is. Sucks. Sucks, man. Is this the same thing as Toot Toot? It's going to be the type of... This is probably the top pick for water right now. So. 
yeah, I can, I can only suck them up so hard, man. Maybe a little bit more because water, but you know, if you don't got them, get them. It's a water unit. If you don't, if you're a water main, um, this is your unit to get. Now, if you're a magna water player, probably not nearly as important. Um, unlike magna fire, where you can run Anilla, Vajra, and Lucio is not nearly as good as Anilla and Tutu, but um, just throwing it out there. This is mainly for your Varina players. Now, Magna Boy, this is your character, Kalulu. This is how you do damage. So, yeah. If you don't got her, hey, look. You thought you was free? No, you're not. This is your this is your unit right here. This is all your damage packed in one unit. Now, is he going to live? Probably not. But, hey, you know, before she died, she would have done a ton of damage. <laughs> so, this... You can even use this run, you can run this unit with units like Rosetta if you have her to protect her. So, um, if you if you if you thought you were Magna, you're like, yeah, I don't got surprised to get any water unit. Oh, it's going to be a great year. Mm, I, sorry to break it to you. Your Magna this is kind of your unit. Even Varina can make value out of Kalulu, but not nearly as much as Magna. So, you ain't free. I'm sorry, man. Ismir Summer, you're pretty much surprised to get in this unit because she got a big ass booty and she got the X pose. Um, she does have a niche, the fact that she has the stamina passive, but that doesn't play a factor too often. Um, it's more for an alt thing. Uh, if you're like, little tip here, if you are a um, alt player, Shiva alt player, you may want to buy this character for your alt. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to min max, I already have it on my alt, so I don't have to worry about it. But if you want to min max, you may want to pick up this unit. Now, here is Summer Greya, the 2018 unit that still gets used somehow. I don't know how. Uh, Water Ogi. I don't recommend her. <laughs> I really don't. I don't want to recommend this unit. But if you order Ogi, and for whatever reason you have Dog, you got Mirren, but you don't got Greya, uh, I'm going to tell you like it is. You kind of need Greya. <laughs> uh, but I assume everybody who has like three balls by now, you already have this unit. I hope. I pray. Uh, I don't want to be recommended this unit in 2021. <laughs> so yeah, I don't recommend her. But if you don't have her and you have three balls, I don't know what to tell you. I mean... Do you like playing with one hand behind your back or something? I, I, are you playing the game on hard mode intentionally? I don't know. Not sure. Uh, next unit we're looking at is Summer Europa. She got nerfed. How did KM? Bro, and he did not rectify this unit. I hate him. Oh my god. Bro, how do you nerf a unit? Everyone complains. And you don't fix her in the next rebalance. I can't believe this shit. Um, Diantha. Now, she has guaranteed TA. She heals a bit, and she's pretty core for the really, really niche, niche Magnafall autos that take way too long. <laughs> but she does have value in the very niche, niche Magnafall autos. I don't recommend this unit. At all, don't get them. <laughs> Kaliosha Summer, wow. Ah, this unit, man. So, do I recommend this unit? Yes or no? Yes, 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 yes. Just don't unlock her skill three. Trust me. Between me and you, if you get this, if you thought about surprise getting this unit, or you happen to pull her within now, between now and GW, don't unlock that skill three trust me trust me don't unlock it you may be like why streamer why science why trust believe listen to me don't do it don't do it now i recommend her for varna but only under the situation you have the critical build no crit no use simple as that you need crit weapons to make this unit 
really stand out. Mag the players, you don't gotta worry about that. However, I would only recommend Kaliostro if you have Vajra. So you need both, really, to make Magna Water good. You have a free-to-play grid, but you kind of need Vajra, just so that Vajra can buff up your team so that you can actually hit auto cap. Unfortunately for Magna Water, it's simply the fact that your auto damage is dog shit because your weapons are medium attack. It's unfortunate. It's That's how it goes. We do have a midi, but we don't start at one health. Only Kalulu. So, um, that's something we have to keep in mind. Uh, personally, you, you, the team of Vajra, Kalulu, Kaliostra, is, you hit so hard. It, you hit, like, extremely, extremely, extremely hard. So, for Magna, that's the team you maybe want to look at. Now, for Primal, as I mentioned, you need the critical weapon. Galilee's Insight, Tysai Bow, Nalgaring, Wamdis, all that stuff. Um, now green not important, but it could be useful for number 150 Arlum uh, Arlumea holiday um, Christmas variant um, don't she's not that great Summer Mackey now this is a good summit right for your Ogi players However, I don't recommend surprise getting it. It's too old um, if you don't have it done now well I'll just keep pulling until you get copies of it. <laughs> I don't recommend it. However, it's still a good summon though. Mainly for Ogi builds. And with that, we're done with water. It took a lot longer than fire because I wanted to emphasize because we do have water guild wars around the corner. But with that, let's get on to the next Ellie. Okay, now we're on to Earth. And for Earth, um, it's pretty simple. Alex is not worth a surprise to get at all. Please don't do this. Mirror Blade Shard, while it's a, a weapon used in um, cane builds, it's the weakest weapon. So without question, don't recommend. Now, Kine, um, Ichigo hits a fury. It's a very good weapon. It's a core weapon in most Titan builds. However, I don't recommend surprise skinning it's more of a one-off weapon there are a couple of people myself included who do have a couple of ichigos and honestly i don't use that too often it's very niche so don't recommend yugen so yugen um ak another core weapon in titan builds very very strong weapon however i don't recommend surprise skinning the character maybe he'll get a full break in the future but no don't recommend um Summer and Alex, your probably top three defensive units in the game, even though she came out in 2019. So yeah, very, very strong unit defensively. Um, is she worth a surprise to get? Not really. Um, a lot of setups in the game around Earth, you can replace her. However, when we do get harder content, she will become relevant to the point where she's probably core again. But currently, you don't really need her right now. There are substitutes like Naramea. Um, mainly Naramea is the biggest one, but you can kind of get away without her. Still a very good unit though. And if you're Earth main, she's one of the units you want to get because you don't want to be regretting not having Summer Alex. Claris, H Holiday Claris, honestly, between me and you, I don't know how her whole gimmick worked with alpha and beta and all that, but all I know is that nobody used this unit. So yeah, no, don't recommend. Use this Halloween, another unit that's kind of dead. Um, he did have the cool damage at the end of turn if he didn't take damage, but he got cucked in terms of his damage amount, <laughs> like the damage cap for it, and it's like practically nothing. So, yeah, uh, hope he gets rebalanced, but don't surprise taking him. Jessica. Now, Jessica was like your main healer when it came to Earth builds. He also provides clarity, and she does a little bit of damage. However, with the inclusion of Diantha, you now have another not limited healer for Earth. That's pretty good. Therefore, Jessica's value is a little bit dropped, and I don't recommend surprising her. Magisa. Now, 
this is a unit that's still pretty good. One of the best dispellers in the element. Um, pro no, the best dispeller in the element. Um, currently, there's not too much content where you must have a dispeller. You can run her for Wanda's full auto, but there's other options without running her. You don't really need her. So, she's very good, and she's definitely near the upper tier in terms of surprise ticket. But, I don't think you want to surprise ticket her unless you have no dispeller in Earth, and you're like an Earth main, and you were looking for a dispeller. And you, between her and Vera, I recommend her. Narmea, the this is the Lucio, this is the Toot Toot. You kind of get her, it's not even like a thought at this point. I don't know how many Earth videos you need to watch where you see this one character before you decide, huh, maybe I should get her. Um, yeah, Earth main, no question about it. It's like, she does everything. She has offense, defense, big tits, big ass. I mean, what? there's like legit nothing this character does not carry in her package, so. If you work it for the full to bank, this is her right here. I don't see her getting power crept for a long time. Summer Silva, back row support. Um, she does have a little bit of niche in full auto, but mainly back row support. Uh, not worth a surprise ticket at all. Um, she's more of like additional on top of the already strong roster, but you need to have the strong roster before you surprise ticket this unit. Rosetta, I doubt most people remember this element, this character in, in this element, because honestly, nobody uses the Earth one anymore. She was used um long, long time ago, back in the paralyzed Bahamut high level day. But unfortunately, she's not used anymore. Um, hopefully they rebalance her in the future because her kit, it can use a little bit of work. Her shield's not that good and it's hard to maintain it, so. Let's hope she gets rebalanced in the future. Valentine's Medusa. Now, this unit did get a rebalance this year. She's a lot better now. Very scale damage heavy. Um, however, she's a good unit, but not good enough to be surprised to get it, in my opinion. So, she's very cute, though. I don't blame you if you want to get her, but I don't recommend surprise to get in this unit. Now, I did mention Summer Vera when I talk about Magisa. Um, personally, Summer Vera, she does have a little bit of value. I use her for one of the Raffle Card bosses, the, the gun, because he does provide charm and delay. But other than that, I don't use Vera at all. So I don't recommend her, but I just wanted to mention her value because he does have that very niche value when it comes to Fauda. Vasaraga and Zeta. The second probably um, surprise skittable unit in terms of tier, Narame being number one, Vashra Gazeta being number two. This unit, very strong. Um, a lot of full auto comps around Sandifon runs this unit over Narmea purely because of the fact that if you unlock Sandifon skill three, he does dispel all buffs and Vashra and Zeta cannot be dispelled for whatever reason being. So they're very, very strong for that synergy. Not only that, they are amazing units when it comes to full auto. They have very little little skills to click because they're a length set unit and that's a very good thing when it comes to full auto. You spend less time clicking and more time hitting attack. So they're very, very strong and they're used in a lot of setups because they do have guaranteed TA. So don't sleep on this unit. It's definitely, they're definitely top two um, between them and Narmea. Crazy because both of them came out in 2019. Freyer, now this is the summon. Um, it's kind of like Shalom's debuff. Don't recommend it. <laughs> Simple as that. No. Yig, Summer. Other than her booty, that's the only thing I recommend on this thing. I have it. It's not that great. Um, it had veil and heal and stuff, but it's not worth the investment. Not worth the sunstones, nor is it worth the surprise to get. So that's about it when it comes to Earth. Let's get on to the next Ellie. Okay, now we're on to Wind. Now this one's gonna be not too bad, I don't think, but first we're looking at Grimnir. Now, when it comes to grand weapons, I'm just gonna tell you simple right now, none of them are worth sparking. My fault, surprise ticketing. 
So that means Grimnir, Monica, Rosetta, and Lesia. Now them. We're just going to talk about the actual unit because I don't recommend anyone plays F right now in its current state. Even with the five star primal, I will wait. Um, just check out how the grid changes with upcoming grand units. But currently, it's not really worth running. Um, it's not worth building just because of how powerful Magna is. Even with five star, it probably won't like change it. It'll probably be more equal now, um, assuming you have a maxed out Zeph build. But yeah. Anyways, um, Grimnir. So Grimnir is still a good unit. It's not a good enough surprise ticket unit. Um, he's still in the standard pool, so I don't recommend him. Monica, same thing applies. Good unit, but they're in the regular pool. Um, you can always surprise them. You can always spark them later on. Um, they're not something that you must have. There's other options. Rosetta, same thing applies, though she's a little bit worse than the other two. Um, she was really useful, though, for the last GW. Keep in mind that we have no um, win GW, win favorite GW coming up anytime soon. Maybe after water, but. That won't last. That won't come until like June ish, June, July. Lesia. Um, now, Lesia is probably the most popular out of the four units because of her attack orders, which give her a lot of viability and things like Galleon. Uh, she's a little bit clicky though, so I don't really recommend her surprise getting this unit. So, yeah. You got, because you have to get five attacks of. Um, five stacks of attack order to maximize her skill three. So she does require a little bit of clicking. So it, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Good because he offers a lot of damage, bad because a lot of clicks and clicking is not that great. Next what we're looking at is Albert Summer. I don't have this unit. Honestly, I don't know what he does. I know he has quadruple attacks, some bonus damage, and that's cool and all, but there's no real, like, from my understanding, I have not seen something where he's like, oh, you must have Albert for this super powerful setup. Hasn't really happened, so I don't recommend him. Um, maybe in the future, maybe with Masquerade, maybe there's like some broken combo, but it just hasn't happened yet, so I don't recommend him. Another Summer, um, I don't blame you. I won't blame you. If you if if you wanted Anilla Summer for this, I don't blame you. I, like um, if, if this is what you want, I don't blame you. I don't recommend it. But honestly, I'm on your side. I, I did it too. I got her. I got her a single ticket, so I got lucky. But I don't blame. I do not blame you. You're not wrong. You're right. Do it, bro. Do it. She's also pretty good. You can throw her in a lot of teams and as wind gets stronger, she becomes more core thanks to her bonus damage passive. So she's one of the units where maybe right now she's not broken, but over time she'll probably get stronger and stronger as wind gets stronger because her passive is so powerful. Valentine's Grimnir. Helm. Plus the, uh, I don't remember the name of the weapon. I don't remember the katana, the 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 uh, what? the big the beak. Yeah, the beaks. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of damage. <laughs> He's pretty good for full auto. So hey, uh, if you're a full auto gamer and you're thinking about GW and you're like, man, what character should I get to boost up my wind? This character right here, because he's gonna make your wind a lot stronger for full auto. Now, manual, probably not. He, he, his skill three is very niche. Um, it does offer supplemental damage to everybody. That um, includes the enemies. So, um, He's a powerful unit, but the most value you get out of him is his skill damage potential. And that's mainly for auto. Summer John. She did get a rebalance, which is pretty cool. Um, they didn't rebalance her enough, though, to make her something I would recommend the surprise to get. It's unfortunate. Summer Korra rebalanced as well. I have no experience with this unit right now, 
wait until I post a video on this unit. But I have no experience with her right now. I don't want to recommend this unit right now because I don't have any experience. My opinion does not matter until I test out the unit. So let's wait on this one. Um, I know that she does have all allies gain assassin, but that's at 10 feet. So Phil's, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know yet. I gotta try her out. I haven't tried her out yet. Metion, um, this unit is very, very powerful. Um, he's great at Ogi damage, good at full auto. He has decent skill damage too. He had like a, you know, a full kit. Uh, the only thing I would say that's pretty bad about him is that he's a Christmas unit, meaning that it's kind of hard to get these units. Um, it's not as bad as Halloween, but it, it's not easy to get them. So if you want to surprise to get him, I don't blame you. He's harder to get than the summer unit. Um, he's very good in a lot of win comps. Uh, he also used in Bahamut high level. Uh, so I don't blame you if you want to get this unit. He's very good. Sharul, eh, not so great. He, his best um, thing is that he gives Veil as a passive skill. Other than that, eh, no. Siegfried, I believe he got rebalanced not too long ago. Maybe like a couple months ago. Uh, no. Oh, skipped over. Summer Yule. Now this unit has gotten more value thanks to the beaks. So, I don't want to recommend this unit at all. But there's some people want, she's very cute. I cannot deny. Um, she does have value with beaks, but no, no. But I won't blame you, you know? I don't blame you if you go after a cute girl. I don't blame you, I don't blame you. Summer Rose Queen, pretty much the reason Owlcat is the way Owlcat is. If you didn't know, if you look at all the, um, let's go here. I can't spell Owl, apparently. If you look at all of the, well, I don't know what series this call, but th they don't have a name, right? Red Hair series, whatever you want to call them. So they all have this mechanic where they give bonus damage and multi-attack rate right up, right? We see the Red Hair gives bonus attack to all allies and multi-attack rate right up. Bonus attack to all allies, multi-attack rate right up. Same thing here, bonus uh, damage to all allies. Wait, is that less? Oh, I thought it was going crazy. I thought it was less. Um, bonus attack to all allies, multi-attack rate right up. Artemis is the same thing. Bonus damage, multi-attack. Bonus damage and multi-attack. Now we go to Alcat, where it gives bonus damage however it's only to the first and third position and then it gives multi-attack to second and fourth the only reason i believe this happened it's because of summer rose queen because summer rose queen was already so good it's probably the one of the best bonus damage summons in the game it gives bonus damage but it also gives supplemental damage too and it gives an attack boost so and it lasts two turns. So I believe because the summon was a thing, they kind of changed the way Alcat worked to make it different from this. Um, but yeah, Summer Rose Queen is very, very good. I don't recommend this surprise ticket, but it's very, very good. And it's used in a lot of auto comps. So if you're like a wind main, I don't blame you if you want to min max your wind to get this but I don't recommend it to most people. And with that, we're done with the main LEDs. Thank God, let's get on to light and dark. Okay, and now we're on to light. Now this element, I think it's the largest of any LE, purely because it has so many grands and stuff that just came out for it. So this would be pretty fun. Now we'll be starting off with Noah. Ivory Arc, it's a insane weapon for Zeus builds. Um, it's one of the best critical weapons in the game. So, because you do want to run a couple of those, um, I can understand surprise to getting him. I don't really recommend it though. Ivory Arc is good, but we just had Light GW, which is like the main reason you would want to get it. So um, I feel like you're best off um, sparking him or waiting for a banner rate up to go after him. 
the copies. So that's my recommendation. I don't really recommend it because you can just wait until, you know, he gets right up again. Lucio and Edens. Oh, Noah himself is a very good unit, by the way. Um, if, it, if that wasn't known. Lucio itself is a very good unit as well. So is Eden, both with a very strong combination. Now, if you are a person who is looking to farm gold bars and light is your only LE, um, I don't think you'll be wrong to go after Anniversary taking Lucio for another Eden in your grid. Um, you do need a couple to really perform decent in Bahamut high level. And if you're crazy enough, <laughs> grand order high level. So if you're looking to farm gold bars with light, then I guess you really don't have a choice. Um, however, for everyone else, I don't really recommend it. Um, as a one-off weapon, it's not worth doing. Lucio is a good unit, but the same thing applies. He's already in the current pool. He'll be here. Um, there's other units that are much more rare that I recommend going after instead. John de Arc. Now, the same thing applies to John, where I would actually say he's better than the previous two units I mentioned, Lucio and Noah. However, her weapon is trash. No, it's not trash, but it's not like, it's not that great. It's, it's definitely the weakest weapon. Um, so, I don't recommend her um, unless you are in the situation where you have, let's say, a, a light grid, like with a bunch of Edens laying around, and you're looking to farm Bahamut high level and or Grand Order high level for gold bars, then you would need this unit, but I would recommend, I would probably understand most people in that situation, there's not many, where you would have like the grid, but you don't have John, so yeah. EO, her weapon's dog, her character's really good, um, but the same thing applies, she's already in the current banners, you'll eventually get her, uh, if not, you can always wait for her raid up, <laughs> but you don't really want the weapon though, you really just want the character. Vera, now she's probably the weakest of all the grand units I just mentioned, she still had value as a good way to bring in Geisenborger, uh, provided she can get killed in her merge state, which, depending on the fights you can. Um, Certificus is still a okay weapon. It does offer Ogi damage. However, Light Primal now has another Ogi weapon, so it's kind of falling back a little bit. But nonetheless, it's still a good weapon. But as I mentioned to you, they're already in the current banners. Light GW just passed by, so I don't really recommend going after a Light Grand unit with your stuff. Only for Lucio, I can understand, or John, but Lucio is probably more common. John is very, very niche. Like, you had to had already had, like, a couple Edens, and I mean, like, four, five, and you are got to be relatively fast to farm Bahamut High Level and Grand Order, so. It's just not often, you know. I don't recommend it to the average player, which I'm guessing, like, the average player watching this type of video. Zeta. No. Rosmia. Now, Rosmia is actually a really cool unit. I don't have her, but from what I've seen, she's a very good long-term battle unit. There's just no content like that in the game. Therefore, because there's not much content that she can really like sign in, um, I don't really recommend her. But she's a cool unit, you know. She she's definitely a long haul battle unit, but it's just there's not enough content for it like that in the game, so it's unfortunate. Noise. So, Noise is not worth to go after. He does have the niche with the Ogi on his skill 3. But other than that, no. I don't recommend it. Uh, Matera. So, this is more of a GW, like, a GW unit that you want to, like, alt with. So, other than that, I don't recommend her. She's just good for alting in GW, and GW is already passed by. Pinky Needle is not good either. Melissa Bella Valentine's is actually a stellar unit. Her weapon, Sword on the Cop, um, it's not that great, but her character is actually very, very good, and she's probably one of the best dispel units. However, when Fun Fun gets her eventual six star, I'm guessing that Fun Fun will be a better dispel unit than Melissa Bella. But she's definitely a very good unit. 
and she can be used for harder content and good OTK potential. Uh, will I recommend to prosecuting her? It really depends. Um, if you're a light main and you're looking to have like access to all the utility and stuff, and you want to have all the units, you definitely want the unit in your pool because he does have um, a very niche and special effect. Mary, now this unit got a massive buff right before Light Guild Wars, and she has the ability to now cast Treasure Hunt on Ogi, thanks to her Ogi activating Snowdrop. Now, while you may be thinking that sounds kind of eh, it's actually a big thing. I do use this unit for my Magna, my Magna setups, and my Bonito setup. So I use her because he does cast Treasure Hunt on all my Magnas. Now, is that a big deal? Not really, but if you can throw her in a lot of setups where you need to hit Treasure Hunt to get more drops, she will give you a lot of value long term. But that's just for people who like to farm a lot. And if you're not a farmer, uh, no, don't, no, 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 don't, no, <laughs> don't go after this unit. Um, but this is something I can mention, you know, what she can do. Lily, I sparked this unit. If you guys didn't know, I sparked her. I sparked this thing. I can't believe I did that. You know, you, you know in the last year, I sparked this unit and I sparked a normal unit. I sparked a non-grand, non-limited unit. I sparked Zeta. And I sparked Lily. Golly, man, this year had been rough. COVID, I'm blaming COVID is something to me. I don't know what it did, but it did something. Now, Lily, not recommended. Um, she's a good full auto unit, but there's a lot of good full auto units, right? The one thing that Lily really offers is that she gives gravity, and Light doesn't really have a gravity unit. So it all it opens up a weapon slot or skill slot on your main character, which is a big thing. So because of that, she's really good. Her passive is very unique, where she casts her skill one, holiday illumination, and it also gives charge bar to all allies. And you can loop her together with Noah, John, or John and Song. You can kind of loop, do Ogie loops with Lumberjack, which is pretty cool. She's a very unique unit. And that's really cool. I don't recommend her though, but if you wanted to get her, that's why you would get her. Now, how them out, core unit, still very strong unit. That's all I gotta tell you. She's probably in the upper echelon. She's probably near the top between the last, the next two units are probably the top ones you wanna get if you're primal light, if you don't have them. This is like number two, probably number three. So, um. Very strong unit. Uh, it's, she gives a lot of attack up, bonus damage, hits really hard. That's about it. Oh, and supplemental damage based on the amount of crest you have. Very good, very good. And they look amazing. Have you ever seen the art? Hold up, have you guys seen the second art? Well, guess you don't get to see it. If you have not seen the second art, it's very, very good. And I don't blame you for going after them. Hal Senna. Now this unit is the crutch um, in a lot of light setups. So if you're really looking to min max your light setups, this is probably the unit that you want the most when it comes to Zeus Primal. Just her and John, it's just a really strong combination. And that's all I can tell you. And she hits really hard. <laughs> so yeah. Um, this unit came out in 2019, but still gets used quite often. So very, very good unit. DLF Summer, um, not worth your time. It's like, this unit is worse than the regular DLF. So all the stuff that DLF had, like the armor and the repel and stuff, like this one has like pretty much the same thing, if not better, that mirror image and armored. So they don't have the, you don't have the repel, but you get like dark attack down, which is probably better. Next we have Blue Pot here. Now, Blue Pot was only really used in the back row because he gave you an extra Blue Pot in battle. That was really only a good thing for Fa High Level. Right now, it's not really needed. Fa High Level has been power crept so hard where you don't need the additional Blue Pot. So, yeah. Don't recommend it. And here we have Kaguya. 
Um, it's a charge bar summon and it can revive. So it's cool, but not something that I would recommend using your surprise ticket on. And that's about it for light. And let's go on to the last Ellie. And now we're on to the last Ellie. <sighs> my main Ellie. Well, it, 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 my main Ellie really differs between water and dark, depending on the day. Unfortunately, I can't like trade my character earrings. I wish I could. But, okay, dark. Olivia and Fallen Sword. Very good combination of strong ass character, strong ass weapon. Don't recommend it though. Same thing applies. It's in this normal gotcha pool. I understand this unit is very strong, used in a lot of comps. Fallen Sword is very strong. Um, I, I can understand this unit if people want to get them. I don't recommend it though. But they're definitely this is definitely mid to upper tier. Because it's not that many like broken options you want to go after in dark. So this is definitely on the higher tier. I'm look, I was just looking at the actual like characters because I have everything like lined up here, and I'm like, huh, there's really not that much. There's really not that. M Most of the characters in the game for dark e are either free, surprise ticketable, or just not on the banner. Not yet. Next one, Zoe. It's 2016 unit. If you don't got Zoe, I don't know how you play this game. I don't understand why people don't want to use this people don't want to use this unit do you just hate dark skin girls what is your problem she's not she's a great unit and she's cute come on jesus christ i don't understand why people are like so against this unit how many years do i have to use the unit for you to be like okay hmm, maybe i should use them now this did not apply to many people but for the small few of you that it did apply to, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. If you don't got her, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Black Knight, strong unit, blood gang, pretty okay weapon. Not strong weapon, but pretty okay weapon. Don't recommend. Same thing applies already in the current banners. Not worth getting. Orchid. Got a five star, pretty strong unit, strong weapon. Only a one-off weapon though. You don't want multiple Parazoniums. It's only a one-off. So yeah, uh, same thing applies in Black Knight. Don't recommend. Good unit though. Shalom. Now this is one I can recommend because I don't think many people want to go and get multiple copies of this weapon. And the weapon's very good. So. Strong character, strong weapon. I can understand for a dark Hades player who wants to fully min max their build, they may want to get a copy of this weapon and they don't want to spark it. Do I recommend it? Not really, but because there's not much that there's not that many options for a guy who really want to min max their dark here. So I can understand if people want to do it. This one in Olivia, I can understand. The other two, Black Knight and Orchid, I don't recommend. And the one coming up, Fairy, no, no. What character is mediocre? Weapon is mediocre, no. Rosetta Dark. So Holiday Rosetta came out a while ago. She did get rebalanced, I believe, in the early 2020 or late 2019. She's a lot better now. She does have the ability to do like a Lily thing where she can cast clarity on special attack but it's not worth recommending the, anyone should probably stick this unit lady gray i did she get rebalanced right they rebalanced this one i don't oh was it the other one i did they rebalanced this one i don't remember I remember Lady Grey getting rebalanced. I don't remember which one it was. Maybe it's the Halloween. Maybe it's the normal one. But the Halloween variant, it's an okay unit, but outdated unit. You know, she's a good unit, but not something I recommend people to go after. Valentine's Claris, the unit that keeps being used no matter what. <laughs> um, Yeah, she doesn't offer damage, but what she offers is a ton of utility utility a ton of utility 
So, because her kit is, this, she does so much stuff, right? Turn skip, charge bar boost, charge damage boost, plane damage, dispel, gravity, veil, mirror image, shield, armor, attack buffs, charge bar speed up, damage reduction, damage and plane damage, I think more plane damage. She does like pretty much everything in the game. <laughs> Defensively, the only thing she's missing is like sub all, I guess, right? She does so much, right? Um, so because of that, I can still people can still surprise to get this unit because it's so core and a lot of things in the game when it comes to full auto and harder content. And when we get new content, um, so you'll be good for that. So I can understand people who want to surprise to get this unit to have like a fully fleshed out dark roster. So I don't blame you and I can understand this definitely more in the mid to top of tier when it comes to f surprise sticking. To be honest, probably the, yeah, yeah, mid top tier, yeah. Probably top tier, cause I'm looking at the other units here. Um, Yeah, top tier. Dark really doesn't have that many options. Like if you really go and look, right? There's really not that many options, right? Most of the core units are like Vicola. She's not in this. Ray, not in this. Predator, don't recommend getting a normal unit. Six, Nair, M Zoe, right? Those are the units you run every day. So, yeah. Colaris is still near the top because of her unique kit. Amira. Now, she's used mainly for try hard Bahamut high level things. Um, just because she doesn't really ogie, and it's really easy to offset her. So, um, and she has high hostility. So, I don't really recommend her, but if you're like ultra try hard and you're about that life, then go ahead, man. If, As I mentioned, if you're trying to really flesh out your roster and have everything, like if you want to be like a lord or a god of your LD, then yeah, you want to pick up this unit because he does have viability. Anthuria. Now this is another unit, just like Claris. She does a ton of stuff. Multi-attack rate boost, hostility up, dodge all, uplift, hype. Heals, clarity, defense boost, CA spec boost. Quite a bit of stuff and she works really well on full auto. Very, very strong unit. So if you are looking for full auto, this is one of the units you're looking for. Now this is only for harder content and she'll be really great once again, when we need to do harder content. Very good investment if you want to have a full roster for Dark. Definitely top tier, because there's just not much options. Um, when it comes to limited units for Dark, they're all defensive, not offensive, right? Everything that's offensive is really free to play or um, just not in the ticket. Caliostro. She has light switch. Other than that, no, don't recommend. Donna, she dog shit. Don't don't recommend. Sariel Holiday. Now this is something that people have been putting on me. Um, tits. So this summon offers a plethora of debuffs, which is really good for mainly fa high level and I guess bubs. Um, it's kind of like Seder where it gives stackable. It doesn't give stackable attack and defense though. However, that can be fixed if you run Assassin, because you get the stackable attack and defense from the item. So, this is probably better for people. Um, it doesn't require to be fully maxed out, I don't think. You just need, well, yeah, you do. You need a three star, so if you want the stackable attack and defense down. So, um, I can understand people who want to go after this. Personally, if I was able to get all my characters I'm looking for, um, I would actually surprise to get this. Not surprise. Yeah, surprise to get it. So, um, it's mainly for people who are looking for solo content. If you're a solo player, this is something you maybe want to look at. If you're like a person who really only farms gold bars and stuff, then don't waste your time. But if you're a solo player like me, then this may be something you want to look around at. You know, just think about it. Um, it could be useful for harder content. That's for sure. The main thing to me is probably the 10% debuff resist stackable down. Um, that's a big thing. 
especially in some LEs, <clears throat> fire. <clears throat> <clears throat> had a, had a really, a really bad cough where you just don't hit debuffs. So um, it's a big thing. And missing gravity could make or break a run. So yeah, look into it. Think about it. I'm thinking about it myself. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm on the fence. I'm looking at my rolls. Um, I'll decide later near the end, uh, depending on how my rolls go, if I'll surprise it or not. But yeah. Hopefully you guys who have watched to the end of this video enjoyed it, learned something, got my understanding, my thoughts. Keep in mind, this is opinion based. These are not facts. These are not the uh, end all be all. We can all have different opinions. You may value a unit more than I do. You may undervalue a unit more than I value it. It's okay. This my thoughts on it and tell me what you guys do. Eventually use your surprise ticket on. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Later.